Well, all this is artifacts of Mars, and here's our mad science update for today. Titanic sank due to an enormous uncontrollable fire, not iceberg experts claim. Rarely seen images of the Titanic before it left Southampton have further researchers theory that a fire may have been the root cause of the 1912 disaster. You can get all sorts of pictures of this. 1912. Did I say 1812? If I did, I'm sorry. Uh, the sinking of the RMS Titanic may have been caused by Enormous fire on board, not by hitting an iceberg. North Atlantic experts have claimed as new evidence has been published to support the theory. More than 1,500 passengers lost their lives when Titanic sank en route to New York from Southampton in April of 1912. While the cause of the disaster has long been attributed to an iceberg, fresh evidence says surface of fire in the ship's hull, which researchers say burned unnoticed for almost three weeks leading up to the collision. I'm going to give you a little aside here. Uh, coal fires were common in those days. This was a coal-powered ship, and part of the problem with coal is you store it in very large volumes that can it can catch catch fire. It's spontaneous combustion. That's what they figure happened to the main as well. Not a Spanish attack. While experts have previously acknowledged the theory of fire on board, new analysis of rarely seen photographs has prompted researchers to blame the fire as primary cause of the ship's demise. Journalist Sinan Maloney, who has spent more than 30 years researching sinking of the Titanic, study photographs taken from the ship's chief electrical engineers before it left Belfast shipyard. Mr. Maloney said he was able to identify 30 foot long black marks along the right front right hand side of the hull, just behind where the ship's lining was pierced by the iceberg. He said, we are looking at the exact lo exact area where the iceberg struck, and we appear to have a weakness or damage in the hull in that specific place, even before she left Belfast. Ex experts subsequently confirmed the marks were likely to have been caused by fire, started in three-story high fuel store behind one of the ship's boiler rooms. For I understand this happened a lot. A team of 12 men attempted to put out flames when it was too large to control, reaching temperatures of up to 1,000 degrees Celsius. Subsequently, when Titanic struck ice, the steel hull was weak enough for the ship's line to be torn open. Officers on board were reportedly under strict instruction from J. Bruce Ismay, President of the company that built the Titanic, not to mention the fire to any of the ship's 2,500 passengers. Presenting his research in a Channel 4 documentary, Titanic, the new evidence broadcast on New Year's Day, Mr. Maloney also claims the ship was reversed into its berth in Southampton to prevent passengers from seeing damage made on the side of the ship by the ongoing fire. Mr. Maloney said the official Titanic inquiry branded the sinking an act of God and that this isn't a simple story of colliding with an iceberg and sinking, a perfect storm of extraordinary factors coming together, fire, ice, and criminal negligence. Nobody has investigated these marks before. It totally changes this narrative. We have metallurgy experts telling us that when you get that level of temperature against steel, it makes it brittle and reduces its strength up to up to 75%. 
fire was known about, but it was played down. It should have never been put out to sea. In 2008, Ray Boston, an expert with more than 20 years of research in the Titanic's journey, believes that the coal fire began during speed trials as much as 10 days prior to the ship leaving Southampton. So the fire had potential to cause serious explosions below deck before it would reach New York. An inquiry into the disaster presented in Parliament in 1912 described the ship as traveling at high speed through dangerous icy waters, giving crew little opportunity to avoid the fatal collision. Well, wow. Well, uh, now, every, every sailor knows that it is fire, not flooding, that's the most serious danger to a ship. I, uh, took a look at some of the images. It says it was on the starboard side. Mm, I'm going to see if I can find. Image here. Anyway, uh, he does for himself. I think he's a little on the moot side. What we, uh, should be asking is, uh, pointing questions at these, uh, so-called environmentalists. Not to get off subject, but ask them why we no longer use, uh, wind power for these big ships if it's so great. That would piss them off. Let's try to bring this one up. No, we keep uh, seeing the port side, so. Anyway, I can't tell. Uh, if this is true, then it's one of the greatest pieces of criminal ne negligence in uh, history. And 1,500 deaths, if they knew about fire, obviously a ship should have been evacuated or dry docked or whatever and until it was put out. We no longer use coal for uh, ships, of course. <coughs> you know, looking at this, and this is kind of funny. For the most part, all we're seeing is port side of the ship, not the starboard, si starboard side. Now, well, wait a minute. Well, I don't know. As you can see, the port side is what they're seeing from the dock. Could be, it's not my realm, so let's just say this was definitely a candidate for the Mad Science update. Oh, screw it. An iceberg sank it. I mean, come on, we know it got hit by an iceberg, that's not in dispute. Anyway, I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. We'll see what happens on our next Mad Science update, whatever it is.